This is the first time the U.S. Army Band Pershing Zone has performed in China. The Chinese have invited the U.S. Army Band to perform in three different cities. It's truly a historic event. We need China as China needs the United States. It's indicative of a much, uh, much larger effort of engagement between our two countries. So this is an important visit. We need to understand their history and culture as, as they get to understand our history and culture. And we hope that our music will give those Chinese audiences a good taste for what we're like and, and what America is all about through our music. Music is a powerful tool that brings people together. Life is the same wherever you go. You know, people are just, just being people, supporting their families, doing their thing, just living their lives. I feel like the friendships we started forging in the United States are definitely in root now in China. This continuing relationship of just learning about each other is very important. The musician to musician connection cuts through the politics, it cuts through anything else that you might associate with two military groups coming together. You just looked out in the audience and saw an audience full of people in Chinese army uniforms thinking we are on a Chinese army base playing Stars and Stripes Forever and they're clapping along with us. That was just a thrilling moment for me. These two groups are working together and they want their soldiers to succeed together and they want to be a part of the successes of their soldiers together. And that was, that was nice to see. We're sending a signal to not just the region, but the world. It does work, that friendship and cooperation through music works. I think we're learning that we can leave a better legacy for our children than what we experienced in years past. For a period of time, both bands, both countries were playing off the same shit of music.